What's up guys, John Killing here back with another video this time I'll be showing you the full process of this book cover I did some weeks ago So let's start with the first image the editor sent me to inspire the whole piece is a kind of a scientist pharmaceutic scientist uh, that she's fighting a corporation for the development of uh, some medicine uh, that's all of what I know of the book and they wanted the big kind of post-apocalyptic futuristic city in ruins and the building of the big pharmaceutical corporation in the background like shining and all the world destroyed that was what I was given so I start drawing and throwing ideas looking for reference and trying to build the city and give this piece some dynamic because they asked me to draw a city not the fight scene or something like that the book is not about that so there was no excuse to draw some warriors or robots fighting so I had to play with the wind with some perspective and those things to give the piece some in interest look and dynamic and yeah so I put some music and leave you with the inking process that is the part I enjoy the most yeah I started inking the things that are closer because I wanted to to get the feel of the piece by inking something that is not like controlling the whole piece maybe something that I could erase if it didn't came out good but it came out well those building parts laying on the floor so I flip them like that and then go for the buildings so I work for the inking in three layers one layer for those elements on the floor then second layer for the background but the mid background the two buildings that make the perspective and a third and final layer for the building in in the in the middle of the piece so yeah I in details I love the inking part it's my favorite stage of the drawing and yeah it's pretty much is like inking traditionally
some point here I st I start using another thickness on the inking pencil so so I can get like deep shadows and yeah make it look more no don't put that much detail in the things that are closer to me yeah At this point I'm almost finishing the inking process, so I'm cleaning a little bit some spots. And now I took a image reference for the colors I wanted to use and start playing with sky at first. Then I start like a grayscale and, and making the composition of the lights and the shadows on the piece. So I don't have to take all that decisions in the colors. So yeah, I give some texture and some lights and it was like using a screen tone for manga artists. I don't know if you know screen tones, but yeah, I was trying to replicate that vibe and giving the piece some grain and yeah adding lights and shadows basically I was doing that so having fun and and learning during the process in all of my drawings I I'm always learning while I'm developing the piece so at some point I needed more black and I start coloring some some things and yeah having fun learning and now I'm adding colors on on the buildings that are like far away those blues that look good with the sky and make a good contrast with the red brown yellows of the of the city so yeah I, I wanted you to to know that when you look this piece you know that there is a two kinds of cities the corporate one and the other and that's why the difference of the colors and yeah there's a battle in this in this book that I wanted to replicate that fight that contrast and I don't know <laughs> maybe I'm talking nonsense but for me it was the way to approach for this illustration so yeah so far so good having fun playing with the colors doing some little tweaks and trying to make it look good Here I start adding some shadows. I, I wanted to, uh, to give volume to the shapes, so adding shadows and put some textures uh, because there will be some text in the sides of the illustration for the book. So yeah, there was no need to draw all those in the sides so that was why I I just used the texture but now I'm playing
complain with the main building that the editor told me that he don't want the building to be like white I have to give it some color so yeah it was a good advice and request so I start tweaking and coloring and getting to the final piece so yeah this is the final illustration yeah it was really challenging but fun and I did it all using Procreate on my iPad it's a great app for drawing you should try it out and I've been learning about colors and textures and stuff using this app so here are all the layers I use and yeah I don't want to make this video longer so please like subscribe and share do all that YouTube stuff so I can keep sharing videos with you and have fun enjoy October and cheers see you in the next one